good evening and a very warm welcome to the 2014 Costa Book Awards and it's lovely to be back here again. Books are the best things in the world and if you're lucky enough to be a winner, well, it's a massive boost, isn't it? And the winner of the 2014 Costa Short Story Award is Zoe Gilbert for Fishskin Hairskin. Anything that encourages reading, uh, I'm all for. Everything on the shortlist is always eminently readable. I think it's essential to make it absolutely plain that literature isn't just one genre. There's already a party atmosphere. It's very early in the evening and already uh, there's an excitement in the room. It's lovely that the poet and the children's writer get a look in at this stage. So to get this level of exposure, it's just an absolutely amazing thing. For the last year, people keep asking me what I do for a living, and winning the prize made me feel like I could say I'm a writer without cringing too much. The book that wins is the book that you would recommend to most people. I read things that I would never have picked up in a bookshop, and I'm really excited that any minute now we're going to make someone's year. It was a very, very closely, very hotly argued decision, but I think everybody's happy. And the winner of the 2014 Costa Book of the Year is H is for Hawk by Helen McDonald. Thank you so much. Um, it was an extraordinary privilege to be amongst that list of fantastic literature and um, I'm really, really blown away. My knees are actually wobbling. Um, I don't think my brain can really cope with it. It's, it's an incredibly emotional experience. You know, I'm really, really honoured and thrilled. I think this is a pretty uh, standout book. It's accessible, it's enjoyable, it has general uh, appeal, and it's also very original and has literary quality. So, it, you know, it's a natural for this prize. I think. It's a story of how, after my father's sudden death in 2007, I decided to cope with my grief by training a hawk. And that's really what the book is about it, at heart, is, is, is this strange journey I took with this hawk through grief and through the fields of Cambridgeshire. It's a wonderful way to whip up passion and ignite excitement about literature, and I love it. I was absolutely hooked on this story. It was so touching, I just couldn't put it down. I like the prize because uh, it seems to me in contact with readers, British publishing needs this kind of prize. It isn't after books that you feel you ought to read, it's books you really want to read.